All right, there you go, version two coming soon. We are now inside 20 days to the launch. So we're gonna get to the TA in just a second here, but before we do, I just want to quickly draw your attention to something. Now, I'm well aware that our community isn't just made up of the members in the Discord, but there are thousands of you who tune in regularly through, well, either YouTube or perhaps you're following us on Twitter. So what we certainly don't want to do is stop you from being a part of the community in your own way. But there are a few changes that if you're left on the outside might mean you're going to miss out on some really golden nuggets from the market. And uh, I, I want to clarify this point. You see, we will be launching a free Trade Devils package that will connect you, well, to a, to a limited version of the Discord. But the great thing is, is that you're still going to get the content that you're getting now but you're gonna get that plus more and you'll get it ahead of everyone else that's just on our social channels. So I, I, I draw, draw your attention to this. So if we, I'm over here on our landing page. Of course, again, I'll remind you, the link is directly underneath the video, but we do have this free membership opportunity here and it, it would be worthwhile to come down here and note what you're gonna get access to, right? So you're gonna get, well, again, here, so there will be a Discord room, there will be a common room for members, you're going to get um, to be able to communicate with members, you'll have public video early release, as well as the deep dives, right? So public video early release, as I typically will do, I'll, I'll record well, right around middle of the day, and then we'll release them to the public, typically in five or six in the, in the early evening. As a free member, you'll get them as soon as they're available, as soon as we, we post them. Uh, and ahead of anyone on the public channel, so there's some advantage into that. So I, I just remind you here that there's there's some, you know some additional things that are that are benefits for you. So if you're clicking here again, right? I, well, free. Obviously, there's no there's no financial commitment. But if you click here, it's simply going to put you on our list here. So we'll send you an invite to that free channel, assuming that's where you'd like to start. Right? And again, all you're doing is it's first name and email list so we can send you the invite once we launch. Right? That's, that's all we're after here. We're not going to blast you with 10,000 emails. Right? So we're sensitive to that. We don't like it ourselves. So you can expect uh, that we'll treat that with due respect. All right, guys. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Sensei Hove, one of my senior senseis here, and he will walk you through the TA today. Okay. Take it away, Sensei Hove. All right, what is up, guys? Hove back with you today, taking over for Sam as he takes care of some TDU 2.0 stuff. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart. Uh, earlier this morning, I posted this on my Twitter, um, and I wanted to take a look at the macro view to see if we do have arguments for another leg up um, on the Bitcoin dominance. Um, so. I'm going to have to jump over to another charting platform because for some reason, uh, TradingView, my dominance chart looks much different than other dominance charts I see out there. Uh, if you can see it, there's like no price history in any of this. So I'm just going to jump over to this one, which is CoinTrader Pro. Uh, it has the whole history of Bitcoin dominance or the uh, Bitcoin market cap. So... The first thing I noticed when I pulled up this history, I started putting together a count. You can see we have this one, two, a third here, fourth, and we're working on some fifth, which looks like we're getting an extension in the fifth. Um, but the thing I noticed the most was just how similar these degrees are. So you can see in this degree, we have a sharp two, sideways four, and now in this one, we have a sharp two and we're working on a sideways four. I found it pretty interesting um, that they're so similar. Uh, there will be a lot of other similarities that I was able to uncover that I'm gonna walk through and then we'll see just um, where we might turn around here and where we might end up in um, for our top of Bitcoin dominance. And then we can start actually getting into alts and 10xing all our gains. Um, anyways, let's jump into it. Um, first thing is first, um, here you can see that we got this A, B, C, which could probably be another X here. And then A, B, C to finish this sideways combo correction. Likely I, I haven't dug in here, but that's what it looks like. You get this clear A, B, C up five ways down three up five down. Um, and then here, like I showed on the other chart um, that has a subdivision, 
Uh, it looks like five waves here, A, B, C, up, and now one, two, three, four, five, which we're looking to put in one more leg down. Um, now, when we're looking to project for uh, uh, where our fifth will be or where a landing spot for our four will be, we'll go ahead and take a fib pull from our two low through our three high. And often we're gonna look between that 382 and 50 for a landing spot for a fourth. So we're right there, we're getting really close. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is take a fib extension tool, trace the length of A, project it from RB, and we usually look for 100% uh, uh, the length of A for C, which is roughly around that 50. Uh, I, I'm gonna show you uh, on this one, I know this is a little bit different. We can't say that we're in a combo yet here, uh, but we could be. We still have all this room to go until we're at this lower channel line where if we do find bottom there, I expect this to move up into this area. But you can see already that from this fib pull, uh, oops, I think my computer froze. Hopefully that didn't screw up the video. Um, I'll check later, I guess. Um, from this fib pull, the two to three, it's projecting the two, three, six up at around 75%. So if we do get down here to that 50 or maybe just at this 382, we'll probably come up and maybe get to this median line right at that uh, 236. Um, but I want to compare it to this one as well. Um, let me see. I'm going to pull a fib. It's going to get busy. So the negative 236, I mean, that's almost to the tick of the 618. So the negative 236 is right here, a little bit beyond the 382. So we might possibly get to there. Um, let's do the same thing for this one now. I'm going to project from here length of possible a from our b and you can see here that it is almost to the tick of that 786 and if we compare that to the 786 over here that's a little beyond the 382 it doesn't have to be the same but we're seeing a lot of similarities so it's just areas that we're looking for confluence of maybe a possible turnaround uh, to start working on this fifth up I'm going to do the same thing here with a fib. I'll pull from our two through our three. I'm going to have to turn off this magnet uh, through our three. And you can see that it is just shy of that 382. We get the 236 almost to the tick and then the negative 618. Um, let me see. What else can we look for? We'll start for looking for confluences up here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that for us. Um, now, so since it looks like we're getting an extension in the fifth one thing we can use which is our app tool is we're going to trace the length of our zero through our third and we'll project it from our fourth now our 100 percent we're gonna that's the target we're going to look for first 100 percent is right at that seven five level along with our negative 236. So we're building some confluence there, um, along with maybe hitting this median. We don't know, we have to wait until this finds the bottom and we start getting some waves off so we can project even further with uh, these micro fibs and uh, micro APPs. But um, this is one target that we're gonna be looking for. Um, we can do the same with our app here and now let's see what the length is here one to two uh it's a little short of the 618 doesn't look like we'll get an extension on the third um but let's see so if we're doing that i think that is the top we've already projected for that if we find a four roughly at the 382 Obviously, we don't know if that's where the bottom is going to be. I'm just projecting out. But you can see that the 100 level of that is right around that 75 slash 76 level. Again, um, we don't know for sure because this isn't completed yet. But that's what we would be looking for. Um, another thing I want to look at, 
um, is these fours look very large compared to these two in time. Uh, I know people will say, well, they can't be correlated because it is so large. Well, they can be um, because, I mean, it's pretty obvious with the wave structure that we got a sharp 2 and a sideways 4, sharp 2 and sideways 4. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that'll be on fib time. So just like we projected from our 1 through our 3, projected from our 4th, we would do the same thing for something like this. Um, uh, I think this one's it. So one through our three, project from our fourth, and you can see that we've already got to 100% of that, but the next one is at 1618, which is lining up with that median line and one, uh, or negative two through six, 100%. So we're getting a lot of confluence around this area. Let me go ahead and just put this over here. So we have an I, whoops, uh, that'll work, I guess. Uh, so we have an idea of where that landing spot is. So we keep in mind, I've been deleting all this stuff because it's not quite as clean as the way I like to keep my chart, especially for you guys. It's a little bit harder to see on video. Um, but Back to the, the twos and fours, we're going to go ahead and see what the relationship was for these. So we'll draw, take our fib time tool, we'll draw the length of our two, project it from our three, uh, right there. And you can see this is almost to the tick of 500% of the two. So let's do the same thing with this. We'll take from the top of our one through our two, project from the top of our three, third and you can see the five is here which is close to the top but we're getting close to this 600 percent and if it goes even further we got the 700 percent which is at uh, a confluent line between this lower channel line and also this lower channel line that is holding this whole uh, sideways correction and if you look at that that's anywhere from the end of january to the mid to end of February before we find a bottom possible this could hit this 382 and start working its way up it doesn't have to get all the way over here um, so they're very similar we're getting sharp 2 sideways 4 sharp 2 sideways 4 so unfortunately um, with this charting platform I can't find any of the oscillators that I would like to look for um, when it comes to kind of looking at the strength and seeing if we do have one more leg up. But like I said, um, to me, all the evidence is pointing to one more leg up because of how similar this is to how similar to this is and where we are in the count. So if, if I'm looking to trade alts or stay in Bitcoin, um, it's really going to be key if we break this channel and also this channel. That would be my signal to, to say, all right, now it's time to be in an alt season and, and load up. But currently, it looks like we're just going to come down to somewhere around here, which we don't know exactly. But uh, anywhere within this, these two channels is just 3% in dominance. So I'd like to see that break before I go full force on uh, some alts. Um, if we come down here and start moving up, well, it looks like we have a lot of confluence around 75%, uh, 76%, and that's the last leg that I would look for. We haven't seen it in dominance, um, but we do normally in crypto see a parabolic fifth. Um, I'm not sure we get that. We're already pretty extended in this fifth, so we'll have to see how that goes. This didn't extend very much. Uh, let me go back to this count. Let me see. We got an extension in this third, um, but then a really small fifth. So although I would expect an extension on something that doesn't get super far, um, we're going to have to look at the, the seven 
75 or 76 mark as where we think it might end. And then we'll watch to see how these waves unfold um, and if those get extensions to see um, where we might want to look for those entry on alts. But for now, I think Bitcoin is going to kind of wreck some people that are, are going uh, super deep on alts and calling for alt season. I just don't see it yet. Uh, I would like to be proven wrong um, because it makes it easier just like I would like to be proven wrong that uh, the bear or the bear market is not over um, but yeah I mean you can see the arguments here it looks like we're getting a perfect ABC correction coming down to whatever level this is and then we're gonna move off in five more waves to complete this fifth all right I hope that helps guys uh, I kind of rambled a little bit, but I just wanted to go over the arguments to show um, that there is an argument for one more fifth wave, and then we will get our alt season, but it's not right now in my opinion. All right, guys, I hope that helped.